Hey there, my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop Design series. In this video, I will show you how you can create an Insta poster like this in Photoshop. And also, if you want to get templates for Easter, you can click on the link in the description of this video to get yours. And if you've not gotten your Smart Design Apparel assets, now is the best time to get yours. Also, the link is in the description of this video. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to hit the subscribe button so that you miss any of these things I will be posting or any of the videos I will drop in anytime from now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So click on file and click on new like this. And um, I'm just going to put in the name here like this. So it's just going to be Easter poster like this. 4x5 inches please. Resolution stays at 300. And um, color mode stays at RGB. And um, basically that's all you need to do here. Click create uh, or click enter to continue like this now double click on your background color should be this so this is the color code you should use right so click on that and when you're done click ok to use that same color right now the reason is we're going to work in with gradients right so for this we have our background color set go over to adjustment layer click on gradients and this is going to come up click on it and select the first one from white to the color selected click on radial and um, open this up like this right and um, copy my settings for this then click on ok like this right so when you do that go over to your resource file the link um, to this resource file is also in the description in this video so you should actually check the description of this video for all of these things the templates and the resource files so i'm just going to position this well here like this and um, I think this is um, the best place I need it to be. Right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over to the same resource file. I'm going to drag this image inside like this. I'm going to place it here like this. Bring it down. Right. Make it bigger and um, click enter. Make sure it's behind the cross. Change the blend mode to overlay. And um, mask it out using the brush like this. And also in the base here like this, mask it out. And um, I like masking out the four sides of the image. So it won't give me any problems later on when I'm designing. Alright, so I'm just going to make this less visible by reducing the opacity right like this and um, i'm going to go on to bring in the next image which is this image here like this drag and drop like this and i'm just going to rotate it like this this way and um, click enter ctrl j to duplicate this take this up like this and um, ctrl t rotate it like this and um, bring this down a little bit just like this and click enter go over to filter go to blow gaussian blow and please use my settings so i can come back to increase this later on but for now i'm just going to use a radius of four points hold down the alt key while you drag drag and um, drop on the other thumb like this so you don't have to repeat the process right so double click on this gradient i want to recenter it so i'm just going to put it here so it's here because that is where my text would be okay easy peasy so on this one i'm going to also reduce the feel so it's not too visible and this is in the right place i'm going to mask out the cross especially these bottom parts like this and uh, yeah this is what i have So we're good to go. I'm just going to use my arrow key to shift it a little bit to the right hand side. And um, yeah, so let's go on and bring in the text. I took out time to type out all of this. The fonts that I use is Arsenica and Taken by Vultures. So you can go ahead to download them. But if you've gotten the smart 
designer premium assets these fonts are actually inside so the font again is Asenica and taken by vulture right so if you've gotten your design assets that's good for you so you can actually open it and install the font and use for this exercise so i'm going to use my brush set to white and i'm just going to click twice there now i'm going to increase the gaussian blur of these tones like this click ok open this up double click on the gaussian blur and open it up twice like this all right good okay so um so i'll just want to adjust the text maybe move it downwards a little bit um so click on the text i'm using my arrow key or better still let me bring up the levels i just meant levels and i'm going to move it to this part here so that my image has contrast in it right adjustment layer color balance click on red like this and yellow also like this like this and um good to go add some more reds add some more yellows like this and we're good to go move this text a little bit to the bottom while you take this up like this so create a new layer and i'm just going to revert this and use a darker shade of this color click ok like this and i would select the gradients with the gradient selected i'm just going to drag like this and that's all you're doing drag like this to create this um it's called um, a vignette effect so it's just going to be on the edges like this and on the bottom here like this right so easy peasy and um this is before and this is after you can see how much difference that has made right so what i'm going to do next is let me see i think i'm going to create a hue and saturation directly above this image right click and select create clipping mask so it doesn't affect every other thing click on colorize and i'm just going to turn this up and use the hue of 23 right use the hue of 23 select all these three layers and right click and click on convert to smart objects while it's still selected go over to filter and go to noise and go to add noise now follow my settings for this also or you can experiment and based on which noise you have um, that's working for you but for me i'm going to use 11.55 and um, i think this is okay like this right so haven't done that just um a little bit of adjustment that we need to do and um, we're done with this poster so to start with i'm going to come um, up here create a new layer and i'm just going to click on this arrow double click on the foreground color which is the white i'm going to change it to something that looks like orange or yellow something in between and i'm going to select my brush and i'm just going to turn the flow up to 100 i'm going to click here once to create a light effect like this change the blend mode to linear dodge add like this and there you go easy peasy right just to highlight um the cross itself i can reduce this if i want to or i can as well leave it the way it is it depends on what you actually want you can actually be flexible with this but make sure you are not overdoing things when you are designing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to hue and saturation and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the hue like this so whichever works for you you can have a poster that looks like this this is a tone of um, purple you can have a tone of red if you want if red is the theme of the day so whichever one you want but i have chosen to stay with this one here right so this is how i created this poster in photoshop if you want to purchase these templates that i mentioned in the beginning of this video you can click the description of this video to get yours if you've not subscribed hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video just up above ciao